What's up guys, Austin Numi here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the rolling shutter or film strip effect. Now this is a really cool transition that you can use between two different clips. Actually a very unique transition you don't see too often and it's actually a very simple effect that we can achieve. So let's go ahead and dive in on how you can use this for your next travel film. So I have my two clips laid out here on the timeline. This is my friend Shyla, and she's going to help demonstrate how this effect works. So I want to transition in between these two clips. This is very simple. So let's go ahead and go over to our effects panel and grab the cross dissolve, drag that in between these two clips. And I like to usually go with about four frames here. And that should be good. So what we want to do next is we want to go up here to our project panel, right click new item adjustment layer. These are my settings, so this looks good. Let's bring that adjustment layer over where we want to transition in between. This is a, by default about a five second transition. I'm just gonna leave it at that for now. You can make it a little bit quicker if you'd like, however. So let's go ahead and grab in our effects panel, offset. Drag that onto your adjustment layer. Go to the beginning of your adjustment layer here. Go to our effect controls and we're going to go ahead and set a keyframe shift center two at the beginning of this. Then we're going to go to the end of this adjustment layer and I'm going to go to the second value where it says 720 and I'm going to change that to 16,247. Now I do want to mention one thing about this offset value here and that's that this can be a little bit tricky. So go ahead and extend this by a couple of frames just to kind of see where you're at. Sometimes this isn't going to line up. I'm not really sure why it's not lining up for me when it's aligned at this value before. So you're going to want to play with this a little bit until you actually get this to meet the end. And it doesn't really take a whole lot of work. It's just a little bit of extra tedious work. And that looks about good. Then you'll clip this back and then you can continue going on as you need. So just make sure that you are actually customizing this to your own settings and what you need. Just make sure that your frame will fill this whole little box here. Now that's going to give us enough rolls to make it look pretty unique. So let's go ahead and go to the second keyframe, right click, temporal interpolation. We're going to go ahead and ease into that. And then the first keyframe, we're going to right click, temporal interpolation, and we're going to ease out. That means it's going to start out slow, it's going to build up, reach maximum speed right in the middle between these two keyframes, and then ease in at the very last one. So this is kind of what you're getting so far. What we want to do though, we're not done. We definitely want to add a couple other things to this to really sell it. So what I like to do is go over here to our effects panel and type in directional blur. We're going to grab that, drop it onto our adjustment layer. And let's go ahead and go to the beginning of this adjustment layer. Go ahead and keyframe the blur length and let's wait until it gets to good speed right about there. And then let's blur it to 10. Not just kind of add a little bit of extra value to this, kind of really sell it. Let's go about right here to about a quarter out. Go ahead and set another keyframe at your value of 10. Go to the end of this clip, and we're going to set this blur length to zero. Now that looks good, but there's one more thing that I want to do to really drive this home, and that is vignette it. So what we want to do is go to our adjustment layer, go to your Lumetri color panel, go down here to your vignette tab. We'll just mess with this just for now. Go back up here to your effects control panel. That's where you actually can control the keyframes. Drop down the vignette here. And we see we've already played with this a little bit. Let's go to the beginning of the frame and let's also ease into this. So let's go ahead and set the keyframe at amount for zero. Let's go in right about there, about a quarter in, and let's add a vignette of negative five. Actually, let's go negative three. There we go. Now what we want to do is wait until we get about a quarter out from the other one, set another keyframe, go to the end of this adjustment layer, go back down, and set this back to zero. What I also did was I added in this projector sound. Now you can actually find this projector sound in the link below. I've already included it in the description. And all I did really for this one was I did slow it down a little bit. So I would take it over exactly where I wanted it, probably about where we had the effect starting right about here. So what I did was I hit R on the keyboard and I stretched this out a little bit. Hit V again and we're going to bring that back in to about the length here. And then I just went in to uh, an exponential fade and added that at the beginning. I added that at the end 
and then I brought this down to about 19, negative 19, because you really only want this in the background a little bit. So anyway, that's how you get this effect. It's actually a pretty simple effect. Make sure to use it for your next travel film. It's pretty cool, and it's a very unique effect. So thank you guys for watching. If you did learn anything, make sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials, just like this one in Premiere CC. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram, at Austin Makes Films. And until next time, guys... We'll see you later.